1987 was one of the most powerful year for me as far as american politics is concerned during 1987 i met white house advisor to the president rudy basara who introduced me to president reagan on a white house event where he signed a bill called say no to drugs shortly after that i was fortunate to be appointed member advisory council on substance abuse in his administration in the early 1988 i was told there will be a convention of republican party national convention in new orleans and my friend rudy who became close friend he made sure that i got all the credential to attend this historic national convention new orleans as white house guest there i had the opportunity to meet not only the candidate george h w bush mrs barbara bush his running mate dan quell and his wife marilyn and other people it was a wonderful event wonderful opportunity to meet lots of interesting people in new orleans after my return when george bush won the bid to become the president of the united states of america i was asked to apply for a position in the bush administration i did i followed mr rudy basara's suggestion after several months krishna srinivasan of atlanta and him worked hand in hand to make sure that my application is given due consideration one day i was interviewed for a position at the president's committee on mental health and mental relation to become the executive director and the first time the first indian american was appointed in the george h w bush's administration i was elated the news was front page news in india broad and all over following this information in india thakur hori bhi prasad the chairman of hori prasad institute invited me to go and visit hyderabad on behalf of president george h w bush during his administration i had the opportunity to meet him on number of occasion as i was the executive director of national policy on mental retardation and intellectual disabilities when after his retirement the library was opened i was invited as a special guest where i spent 6 7 days meeting all the vips from all over the world who assembled in college station on his 25th anniversary of his presidency me and my wife were invited special invitation to go to college station again and met president h w bush his wife barbara bush j f bush and george bush all the family members it was a historic moment he greeted us with a big smile pramila met for the first time president bush and barbara bush and the picture was taken there is celebration lunch dinner western picnic all the activities and i got to meet other people the chairman of joint chief of sessions as well as the former prime minister of great britain major president ford and lot of other vips 
He was very kind to me. He was very fatherly. One day, during the Christmas time, I met him. He was so kind. He showed me the East Room himself. And Pomila was very impressed. We took pictures together. He was really one of the finest presidents ever in the United States history. But he passed away prematurely and we miss him. He was wonderful. He gave me an opportunity to work in the U.S. Presidential Administration. I also got an opportunity to work for his son. So I had served three U.S. President, President Reagan, President H.W. Bush and President George Bush.